Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Chak Kadash, Rakadad, the brothers of the elders, and the apostles at Great Millstone, who will peace, blessing, and salutation to you. Hopefully, you let Akiam and the one third Akwa for doing this work in truth and sincerity um, throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, <laughs> this is a video I wanted to do. Um, basically, today, all day, you know, I couldn't can't wait basically to do it and uh it's just off of uh land backing off of apostle uh uh gabar how the video he made um entitled uh just preach the word uh you know uh, speaking on uh like the uh behalf of the brotherhood and, and things of he he's observed and um you know brothers in different levels and leadership of this thing and the little bit of experience that we do have um you learn things and um you learn you learn just being a man of the lord and how to conduct yourself and a lot of times we can uh fall away uh, uh, uh and get caught up in the moment and, and get unfocused on what what the task is at at hand which is like uh, the apostle mentioned is just preach the word and he was just basically saying how, you know, it, it, doing videos and uh, these video epistles and live streams, we like to speak a lot of times and not go uh, uh, to what the first resort is, uh, uh, which is reading the scriptures and getting precepts and breaking down the scriptures, you see? I mean, and I'm guilty of it, and uh, other brothers as well. You know, we get guilty and side. Uh, uh, we we're guilty, and we get sidetracked of, uh, you know, things that we want to bring out and say rather than breaking down the scriptures. And it happens, and it very well may happen again. You know, trying to get this thing right, uh, but you want to be very cognizant of that. You see, I want to get this precept. Uh, the scripture, first scripture, second Timothy four and two, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Uh, preach the word. That's the main point. Preach the word. And while we're preaching, what are we preaching? The word. We we telling our people the heritage, the law, statutes, and commandments, and breaking down, uh, 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 breaking down the strongholds and the lies of the Bible. But a lot of times, you know, we get caught up in the personal things we like to bring out and speak too much. <laughs> you know, I, I do it a lot sometimes and you know, catch myself, you know, a lot of times, man, it's not edifying. OK, uh, 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 what you went through that weekend and, and that day. Uh, but a lot of times people don't want to hear uh, uh, what you went through, bro. You know, uh, 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 what happened, what you did and <laughs> your baby mama. And, and yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, if it's relating to the topic and, and, and things of that nature, it's it's cool. You know, if it's on time, you see, but but we have to focus on the, the you know, stance uh, and spirit and not, you know, throwing off the spirit uh, uh what your perspective is or, what, or how you're feeling. No matter what, we still have to uh, 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 preach the word. All right. And a lot, hey man, you know when, you know, it's always a refocusing when the seasons change. You're like, all right, I got you know, time to preach the word, time to preach the word. You get another resetting, spring, fall, winter. You know, you get juiced back up with the different seasons, preach and to preach the word. Another thing, new topics to speak on. All right, this is uh, Colossians. I'm using the Bible gateway right now. Uh, let your let your speech be always with grace, seasons with seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Kind so you know, you know like you know saying is act like you've been there. You know, a lot of athletes, it's coaches use it. Act like you've been there. You know, act like you've been on the line preaching the word and, and doing videos and show. You know, a lot it happens a lot when you're with doing. Uh, 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 videos with brothers and things like that in a, in, a, in, a, in a sit down a long sit down you like you know a lot of times that's when brothers get to see each other but um you want to um you know make sure you're staying on point and letting the, the scriptures flow 
and getting precepts and, and breaking down words and things of that nature. That's the most edifying because we're trying to edify Israel. So just like Apostle, Apostle Gabar said, now, that, cup, that goes for me first and foremost. You know, let, let your, what you say be salted. You know, a lot of times you want to bring out how you felt or something happened to you that day. So your whole lesson is going to be about Edomite because he cut you off in traffic. Now you're saying, hey, Revelation, <laughs> he had to leave this captivity. A lot of times, man, you know, you got to just, you know, you know, stay focused, man, and, 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 and preach this word, you know, because that's very easy to get sidetracked in this thing, man, and, 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 and to uh, uh, make, you know, your personality and your perspective, the doctrine, but, but, you know, that's not what this thing is about. As we come into close to the end, we have to be more on point in what we're doing. You see? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, a be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that our labor is not in, in, not in vain in the Lord. God. You see, always abounding in the works, you know, more, the more and more you abound and do this work, you know, and you get, you just get uh, 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 muscle memory, so to speak, of uh, just bringing out precepts and scriptures, man. You know, that's what you need to worry about, first and foremost, you know, and being steadfast, because when we're speaking, we're always getting, and I'm going to go into that word, because uh, I'm just gonna get the definition because steadfast, you know, is re a, a resolution oriented. When we speak and we bring something out, we know that it's a re we're trying to get to a point, make a point. A lot of times when we're speaking and we're speaking and we're speaking, we get we have to stop because we get we, we forget what we're talking about because uh, we like to you know tell stories and things of that nature. Now you can have your testimonies. I do. I speak on things, but let it relate to the topic tell jokes, uh, you know, a few jokes or whatever the case is, but a lot of times, brother, you know, when you're in Israel and you're a, you're the leader or you're, you know, second command or whatever the case is, it's, it's, uh, you're looked at more, especially from our elders and apostles, so they're going to look to you, okay, uh, what you're bringing out and, 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 and what you're speaking on, you see? Oh, that is deep. <coughs> oh, ow. lucky. You know, I just wanted to speak on that because that, that's very important. You know, a lot of people are, are we're, uh, Israel is getting exposed to a lot of people. We're getting a lot of exposure, so we want to be, uh, you know, straight to the point. Steadfast, I just want to get that word really quick. Uh, Steadfast. Uh, result, resultly, or dutiful, firm, and unwavering. Loyal, faithful, committed, devoted, dedicated, dependable, steady, constant, trusty, staunch. Okay, so that's what that's what this thing is about. Just preaching the word. We're not look, looking out to be fancy. And half of the time when we're out there, we just have a regular garment. Uh, shit, we ain't got nothing suits on. We don't have no nice old designer stuff. Brothers might have, you know, lip froze, big beard. It's not something to appearance, you know, or, or just being a uh, charismatic speaker or a, a loud speaker is, is all about preaching his word. Now, do you need to be on fire? Yeah, of course. That's what this thing is about, but you have to make sure you yourself, you're not making this thing about what you got going on, you know, uh, you don't want to get puffed up, you know, speaking for myself first and foremost, but, you know, it's, it's not a very easy thing to do, you know, it's, sometimes it's, you know, you have to catch yourself, all right, it, it's not always, you know, sometimes you want to bring certain things out, but it's not edifying, it's not really 
this doesn't go with what we're talking about. All right. And we're supposed to be prophets. You know, the, the ones of us that are, that do teach, we're supposed to be prophets going into the prophecies. The Mark of the Beast, World War Three, and so on. These type of things uh, 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 we have to be on, on point about. And the more and more you do it, the more and more on point you're going to be uh, with these things. Hey, and I learned something from the brothers in uh, Detroit. Uh, uh, the Detroit camp, man, those brothers just read scriptures, man. You <laughs> read scriptures, precepts. They brothers be itching, man, to bring scripture precepts out. And that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. And you get that. You you be around those brothers. You, 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 that, if, it, 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 you know. That's you know that same spirit to flow, man. You know it gets on you, and now you want to bring scriptures and precepts. You know, that's is is that's how you know the brotherhood is. That's how a body Yahweh Hashem Shai works. We, we flow as one. You see, and that's just something you know, something to pray about to get to to to, to get better at. And there's that better get it, you know, a better attribute. We can all work on that. But, but hey, that's just, that's a beautiful point that Pastor made. I just wanted to, you know, give my two cents. Uh, Lord willing, this little lesson was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakhon Kadash, Brakata. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who do well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to you, like I can do in this work. In truth and sincerity, Shalom.